Well, good Friday morning, everybody. Hi, it's Phil Kincaid. I'm here for The Telegraph with our favorite meteorologist, Mr. Al Caprillion. And we are headed into the big Labor Day weekend now as we say goodbye to summer, at least uh, emotionally, I suppose. Uh, can you give us a heads up? Let us know what a nice weekend it's going to be. What can we look forward to? Well, Phil, we're going to see more summer weather. The humidity is going to increase Sunday and Monday. Today, we're going to have a mostly sunny day for this Friday and temperatures this, on this Friday will be in the middle 70s. They'll only be near 70 at the beaches, maybe upper 60s, low 70s along coastal Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts with an onshore wind today. We'll still have some rough surf and uh, dangerous rip currents. Just be careful. Even though uh, Hurricane Cristobal, 80 mile per hour, moving northeast, Phil. You look at this, 49 miles per hour, a couple hundred miles south, southeast of Cape Race, Newfoundland. She is moving fast. But we still have a high surf advisory for Cape Cod, the islands, the south coast of Ireland, south coast of Massachusetts. If you're going down there, that high surf advisory now is in effect till 2 o'clock, the way it looks at this time. But just be careful, even uh, north of Plymouth uh, area, of Cape Cod Bay, north up into New Hampshire, Maine coast, there still could be some big waves and you could be surprised if you're not careful. So just be careful today at the beaches. Tonight, we'll have mostly clear skies, a low 50, some patchy dense fog in Chester County around Keene, where it'll be in the upper 40s there. That burns off tomorrow. Mostly sunny tomorrow, but we'll have more high cirrus clouds moving in, which could dim the sun at times. 75 to 80, it'll be a little bit warmer than the mid 70s today. So Nick, 75 to 80 tomorrow. Sunday, showers and storms move in, but they may hold off till later in the afternoon or evening overnight. But it will turn partly to mostly cloudy, more humid, dew points, 65 to 70 on Sunday. Air temperatures could get in the middle 80s Sunday, and then we'll have showers and storms later Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, overnight. Monday for Labor Day, at the best I could do, some breaks in the sun, still humid, middle 80s, chance of still a few scattered showers, even a isolated thunderstorm. So I think Phil and everyone, Saturday looks like the better of the three weekend days in terms of uh, Labor Day weekend, in terms of the quantity of sun and dry from start to finish. But again, I want to emphasize, we're not going to see all day rains Sunday and Labor Day, but uh, it looks like Saturday's the more dependable day outside. Where are these uh, rainstorms coming from? Well, what we have a frontal system, a cold front, that's going to be cl closing in on Sunday, but it's going to may stall over the area. So that's why the unsettled weather could go into Labor Day. It's, it's going to slow down. So that's the, that's the problem. But ahead of the frontal system, the dew points will go up. So... 65 to 70 dew points Sunday, Sunday night. In fact, air temperatures Sunday night for lows may only be 65 to 70 for temperatures overnight Sunday night. So it'll be a very warm night, feeling like summer. Some of the nights that we really haven't had that much warm weather. We've had a lot of cool nights this past summer. That's right, Al. Well, it doesn't sound like too bad a weekend. Not I'm bad. Not yep. that balmy <laughs> Sunday night. Enjoy it. Okay. Al, you have yourself a great holiday weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. We'll talk to you next week. Happy Labor Day, Phil, and everyone.